Hi kids, I'm Mr. Steven. Welcome to the Kids Table. Today we're gonna to talk about loving our neighbor. Now, I'd like to share a little bit of my own journey with you um, before I invite the kids to talk about what it means to love their neighbor. We all have certain hopes and dreams in our lives and one of my hopes and dreams was to be a great helper, to support people in the way that they need it and um, to be a gift in their lives. Um, because one of the greatest things I've noticed is the smile or the twinkle in their eyes um, when somebody is helped in the, the way that actually helps them. And so that's been quite a journey for me. And in that journey, I have realized that I don't understand a lot of people in a certain way to the best of my ability because I'm different than other people. And so what I started to do was um, say, okay, I need to understand these people and so I will um, define them. And so I started coming up with words that described people so that I could understand them better. Words like beautiful or tired or sad or happy or crazy. Um, and even in that, I started realizing that I was labeling people. And so labels that I thought were harmless, um, like Native American or Catholic or a two in the Enneagram, <clears throat> they start to become something more. What I created was a box. And so I have this image here of examples of things that I have named people or named myself, honestly, um, and they're boxes. They're boxes that I put somebody in. And once somebody is in that box, it's near impossible for me to let that person out of that box in my mind. And so I've got all these boxes of all these different characteristics of these different people that I'm thinking I'm giving all this love to and understanding because I know a little bit about what that title means. But what I'm not realizing is how thick the walls of those boxes become. And while I'm thinking I'm making all these people right around me and I'm able to carry them, my dream, this is, you know, Simon of Cyrene carrying the cross with Jesus. Instead of being that person that helps people carry their own selves and empower people to be themselves, I've become somebody that kind of walks on boxes or has boxes all around him of people that I think I understand and I think I know, but I really, really don't. And as I've grown through that, I've realized that not only are the boxes defining people and limiting them to a small container that they can't get out of, they're also separating me from that person. And even in my dream to carry people and support them and empower them to be the best that they can be, I'm seeing myself as that power that can hold them up. Instead of seeing the massive log in my eye, I've spent all my life trying to say, it's okay, I can help you. And that's a huge mind blown moment for me to become aware of that, to think of that. All of my dream is completely transformed because I'm as different as everybody else around me. And so how do I accept that? How do I live in that? So one of my ways to do that is I take a deep breath. And I think of the word ruah. It's one of my favorite words. It means breath and spirit at the same time. And what I realize is that Every single one of us in that moment took a breath. We all need to breathe. We're all breathing in and out together on this earth. And that is the commonality that I try to remind myself of. The ability to be living in my lungs 
and being present to the moment and trying to love everybody no matter what the labels that are flying through my head I try to let go of those and see the breath in each of us and so i ask you today to think about the boxes that you have in your life to think about the simplest labels and to imagine what it would be like to let those labels go to pull an Elsa, as I say, and just let it go. And I ask you to think about the breath. And then I'd like you to share opportunities of how you've loved your neighbor or how you wish to love your neighbor and who your neighbor is in that journey. McAlvey, do you want to come join me for a minute? No. no? <laughs> Do you know what I mean when I say neighbors? Yes. Yes? Do you have um, people at school that you see and at church and here, right? Yeah. Who do you think your neighbors are? Nan Rina and Hobson, Miss Wilaine. Okay, and how do we show people that we love them, our neighbors? Say hello. Yeah. You, one of the ways that you show love that I've noticed is you take a puzzle up to Nana Rita's and you ask her to do a puzzle with you. That's a pretty awesome way of showing love, right? Yeah. Yeah. You spend time with people. Now, can I go now? You can go now. Thank you. Say bye-bye. Bye. Hi, Gregory. Hey. Do you know who our neighbors are? Yeah, McKelvey? Yeah. Yeah? And Claire? Right there. Yeah, the people all around us? Yeah. Yeah. How do we treat our neighbors? Do we show them love? Yeah. Yeah? We build fires yeah. for them? Yeah. Yeah? Does that help keep people warm? Yeah. Is that a good way of showing love? Yeah. Yeah, okay. We love Yaya and Paka? Yeah. 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 And we say prayers for them at night? Yeah. Yeah. Is that a good way to show them love? Love Yeah. Hi, Claire. Hi. Can you tell me who our neighbors are? Miss Lane and Anna and Graham. Don't mind we didn't talk to them. Right. And are they the people that you see in everyday life? When you go to school and when you go to church? Are those your neighbors too? Yes. Yes? So when we see people that are different than us, do we, do you show them love in some way? Do you greet them with a hello or a smile? Sometimes, and sometimes when I go to school, oh, I hold the door open for some kids. Oh, that's a very nice. That's a great way of showing love because they need to get in fast in the cold, cold weather, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, are there other ways that we show love? Do we show love to our cousins by having them spend the time over here mm -hmm. and playing with them? Yes. Yeah. And do we offer hugs and kisses and handshakes? No, we can't do that instead of COVID, but we would if. Right. It's even, it's even hard to do so with a mask on our face, mm -hmm. to smile at people. Yeah. It's really hard for us to connect and show love to our neighbors right now. Mm -hmm. Right? One of the ways that I like to show love to neighbors is just being there. If people come to me and offer to share what they need, I'm thrilled to help. If people need somebody to talk to, I'm thrilled to listen to them. But one of my favorite um, ways of showing love is through hospitality. I love to invite people to come join us for a meal at our table and to just spend time maybe playing games or just being with people. Um, so I look forward to hearing what your examples of showing love with one another is and and how you can, you know, do that this week. Thanks for joining us at the kids' table. Bye-bye.